Bismillahirrahmanirrahim My name is Dr. Tariq Abbas Associate Professor of Electrical Engineering Department of Sarwad University of Science Information Technology The subject name is Biostatistic uh, Today discuss the lecture number 2 Meyer of Centered Indensity in which we uh, study about the geometric mean, median and mode Geometric mean, the geometric mean of a series containing an observation is the nth root of the product of the values if x1, x2, x3 up to xn are observation then geometric mean is equal to x1 dot x2 dot x3 up to xn is nth root 1 over n so it can be written in the form of x1 dot x2 dot x3 up to dot x and rest to power 1 over n so taking the log on both sides so log of x1 x2 up to x3 up to xn is equal to 1 over n so according to the third law of the logarithm log m rest to power n is n log of m so we take 1 over n into log of x1 x2 x3 dot of xn is equal to 1 over n so uh, uh, the first law according to first law of the logarithm of the logarithm log a m cross n is equal to log m plus log n so we take 1 over n log of x1 plus log of x2 to so on plus log of xn is equal to summation uh, log of xi divided by n so geometric mean is equal to taking the anti log on both side so geometric mean is equal to anti log of into log summation log of xi divided by n for a group data geometric mean is equal to anti log of summation f log of xi divided by summation f merits of the geometric it is rigidly defined it is based on all items it is very suitable for the averaging of ratios rates and percentage it is capable of further mathematical treatment unlike arithmetic mean it is not affected much by the presence of extreme values demerits of the geometric mean it cannot be used when the values are negative or if any of the observation is zero it is difficult to calculate a particularly when the items are very large or when there is a frequency distribution it brings out the property of the ratio of the change and not the absolute difference of change as the case in arithmetic mean the geometric mean may not be the actual value of the series numerical problem calculate the geometric mean of the following series of the monthly income of the wage of families 180 to 50 490 1400 and 1050 so solution of the problem so taking the 180, 250, 490, 1400 and 1050 is the x column. So taking the log of each value of the x column. So log 180 uh, using the use of calculator. So log of 180 is equal to 2.2553. Log of 250, 2.3979 log of 492.6902 log of 1400 3.1461 log of 1050 will get 3.0211 so the taking the sum of the log x column log x is equal to uh, to the sum from 2.2 2.2553 up to 3.0211 is equal to 13.5106 geometric mean is equal to the anti log of 13.5106 divided by 5 so we'll get anti log of 2.70212 so press the shift button and taking the log button we will get anti log in which we write a 10 10 is the base of the log common log 
so anti log of 2.70212 we will get 503.6 question calculate the average income per head from the following given below find the geometric mean it means the class of people landlords cultivators landless laborers money lenders office assistants shopkeepers carpenter weavers number of families 2 and 100 54 and 6 8 6 10 mm -hmm. monthly income per head so the number of families 5000 so the cultivator number of families 100 is income 400 and landless labors the number of families 50 is uh, uh, income monthly income is 200 money lenders 4 whose income 3 37 150 office assistant 6 whose monthly income 3000 shopkeeper is 8 whose uh, income is 750 carpenter is 6 whose monthly income per head is 600 we were stan is monthly income per head is 300 so solution of the problem class of people monthly income per head of rate and number of uh, families f is given so the three columns are given in the given data so taking the uh, log of x monthly income per head is the x column so taking the log of x so log of 5000 will get 3.6989 log of 400 2.6021 log of 200 2.3010 log of 3750 will get 3.5740 log of 3000 3.44 log of 750 2.8751 log of 600 2.7782 log of 300 2.4771 so multiplying the log x column with the frequency column 2 multiplied by 3.6989 will get 7.3978 100 multiplied by 2.6021 will get 260.210. 50 multiplied by 2.3010 will get 115.050. 4 multiplied by 3.5740 will get 14.2960. 6 multiplied by 3.4771 will get 20.8626. 8 multiplied by 2. 8751 will get 23.23.008 23. so 6 multiplied by 2.7782 will get 16.6692 10 Ten multiplied by 2.4771 will get 24.7710 so taking the sum of the f number of families 2 up to 10 is 180 and sum of the f log of x from 7.3978 up to 24.770 his sum is 482.257 geometric mean anti log of summation f log of x i divided by summation f so 482.257 divided by 187 so anti log of 2.5927 so press the shift button and, and press the log so we'll get the 10 of digit so right instead in front of 10 2.5927 we will get again press the answer key we will get 391.47 this is the required answer question calculate the geometric mean of the frequency distribution from the following data classes from 0 to 11 is frequency is 9 from 11 to 22 class is frequency 17 22 up to 33 is frequency is 28 33 to 44 is frequency is 26 44 to 55 class is frequency is 15 55 to 66 is frequency is 8 so uh, the first column of the classes in groups Uh, is given in the data and frequency is given in the data so taking the midpoint of the class 
so upper and the lower limit add to each other and divide by 2 you will get the midpoint column so 0 plus 11 11 divided by 2 5.5 12 plus 11 is 33 divided by 2 16.5 22 up to 33 adding them 32 plus 22 55 divided by 2 27.5 44 plus 33 will get 77 divided by 2 38.5 44 plus 55 99 will get divided by 2 will get 49.5 56 55 plus 66 we will get 121 uh, uh, divided by 2 will get 60.5 so taking the log of the midpoint column log of 5.5 0 0.7407 log of 16.5 0 0.6 0 6, 0 6, log of 27.5 0 0.0364 log of 38.5 0 0.0259 the, taking the uh, log of 49.5 will get 0 0.0202 uh, log of uh, 60.5 will get 0 0.0165 so multiply it f with log x so we'll get 5.5 multiplied by 0 0.7405 we will get 6.6636 uh, log of 16 uh, 16.5 multiplied by 0 0.0606 we will get 1.30 log of 27.5 we will get 0.27.5 multiplied by 20 a 0 0.0364 multiplied by 28 will get 1.0192 26 multiplied by 0 point, uh, 0.0259 will get uh, 0 0.6734 15 multiplied by 0 0.0202 will get 0 0.302 8 multiplied by 0 0.0165 we will get 0 0.1320 so taking the sum of the frequency column is 103 and f log of x 9.8214 and taking using the formula geometric mean anti log of 9.8214 divided by 103 so anti log of 0 0.0954 will get 1.246 median median is that value of the variate which divides the group into two equal parts one part comprising all the values greater and the other all the values less than median yeah median is known as the mid value of the class so in case of ungrouped data or raw data arrange the given values in increasing or decreasing order if the number of values are odd median is the middle value if the number of values are even median is the mean of the middle of the two values by formula median is equal to n plus 1 divided by 2 item so question when odd number of values are given find the median for the following data 25 18 27 10 8 30 42 20 and 53 so first of all arranging the data in the ascending order 8 10 18 20 25 27 30 42 and 53 the middle value is the fifth item is 25 is the median so using the formula n plus 1 divided by 2 item so it means uh, uh, 9 plus 1 10 divided by 2 fifth item is 25 this is the median this is the middle value of the loss question according to the census of 1991 the following are the population figure in thousand of 10 cities are 1400 and 1250 1670 1800 700 650 570 488 2100 and 1700 find the median arrange the data in ascending order 488 570 650 
a uh, 712 50 1400 16 70 1700 1800 and 2100 here n is equal to 10 therefore the median is the mean of the mayor of the fifth and the sixth item here the fifth item is 1250 and sixth item is 1400 so adding them median is equal to 1250 plus 1400 divided by 2000 13 to 5000 the following data pertaining to the number of members in a family find the median size of the family number of members 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 7 8 9 frequency 1 3 5 6 10 13 9 5 3 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 is the x column 1 3 5 6 10 13 5 9 3 is the frequency column it is 55 so taking the cumulative frequency one uh, the frequency column one is the main constant one with add three one plus three four four plus five nine nine plus six fifteen fifteen plus ten twenty five twenty five plus thirteen thirty eight thirty eight plus five forty three forty three plus nine fifty two fifty two plus three is fifty five median the size of n plus 1 divided by tooth item so size of 55 plus 1 divided by tooth item median the size of 56 divided by tooth item implies that median is 28 item the cumulative is just greater than 28 is 38 and the value of x correspond to 38 is 6 hence the median size is 6 number per family Find the median for the distribution of examination marks given below marks 30 to 39 40 to 49 uh, 50 to 59 60 to 69 70 to 79 80 to 89 90 to 99 the number of students 8 87 190 304 211 85 and 20 so marks the first column is known as the marks uh, which which are given 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, 60 to 69, 70 to 79, 80 to 89, 90 to 99. Frequency column is given 8, 87, 190, 304, 211, 85, 20. First of all, we will find the class boundaries. Select the first two classes in which the upper class of upper class of uh, is upper limit is 39 and uh, the uh, low the lower class of the second class is 40 there is one difference 40 minus 39 is one difference so the, this difference divided by 2 will get 0 0.5 0 0.5 is minus from the lower limit and added with the upper limit so uh, 0.5 is uh, minus from 30 will get 29.5 and adding with the uh, uh, upper limit will get 39.5 so we will get class bond is so 0.5 is less from the lower limit and add with the upper limit so we will get the class bond is column so frequency column and taking the midpoint of the class bond is 29.5 plus 39.5 divided by 2 its average 34.5 so adding the upper and the lower limit of each class boundaries and divide by 2 we will get the midpoint column so we'll get 34.5 44.5 54.5 cumulative frequency so first column first item of the frequency is remains unchanged 8 8 with 87 95 95 with 190 285 285 and 304 we'll get 589 589 with 211 we'll get 800 800 with 85 will get double 85 double 85 is adding with 20 will get 905 and median the marks obtained by n by tooth item so m the marks obtained by 905 divided by 2 that is 452.5 student which correspond to the marks in class 59.5 to 69.5 Therefore, median is equal to L plus H divided by F and divided by 2 minus C. L means the lower limit of the 
given class. H is the width between the upper and the lower limit. F is the frequency n divided by 2 is shows the median class and C is known as the cumulative frequency. So L is 59.5, H 69.5 minus 59.5 will get 10. And so uh, uh, 452.5 is, uh, is very near to the check in the cumulative frequency. So we will get uh, C is 285, F is equal to 305, median is equal to 59.5 plus 10 divided by 304, 425.5 minus 285. We will get median 59.5 plus after simplification 1675 divided by 304, median is equal to 59.5 plus 5. We will get median is 65 marks. Mode is referred to that value in a distribution which occur most frequently. It is an actual value which has the highest concentration of items in and around it. According to the Crookston and Coviden, Coviden, the mode of the distribution is the value at the point around which the item stands to most heavily concentrated. It may be regarded as the most typical of the series of the values. It shows the center of the concentration of the frequency in around a given value. Therefore, the purpose is to know the point of highest concentration it is preferred. It is thus a positional measure. Question. Compute the mode from the following data 2, 7, 10, 15, 10, 17, 8, 10 and 2. Solution. 2, 7, 10, 15, 10, 8, 10, 2. In the above data, 10 is repeated 3 times. This the, the, it is mode is 10. Mode for the group data. When data are organized into a group frequency distribution, the mode would lie in the class that carries the highest frequency. This class is called the model class. Then apply the formula mode is equal to L plus Fm minus F1 divided by Fm minus F1 plus Fm minus F2 multiplied by H. Fm is the maximum frequency in the group f1 is lie above the maximum frequency f2 is lie in between a bit uh, below the frequency maximum frequency where l is the lower class boundary of the model class fm is the highest frequency of the model class f1 frequency is situated with the class preceding the model class f2 the frequency is situated with the class following the model class and h is the width of the class interval question find the mode for the distribution of examination marks given below marks 30 to 39 40 to 49 50 to 59 60 to 69 70 to 79 80 to 89 90 to 99 number of student 8 87 190 304 211 85 and 20 marks uh, the first column is known as the marks from 39 to 30, 30 to 39 up to 90 to 99 class 1 frequency column from 8 to 20 so taking the frequency uh, class 1 is there is uh, the uh, choose the first two classes so for the 39 is the upper limit of the first class and 40 is the lower limit of the class so there is uh, a difference between them is 1 1 is divided by 2 will get 0 0.5 0 0.5 is less from the uh, lower class limit and add with the uh, upper class limit so we'll get 29.5 to 39.5 so we will make the last class 90 to 99 we'll get the class 1 to 89.5 to 99.5 so fm3 uh, the maximum frequency is 304 highest frequency which correspond to the class 59.5 to 69.5 model class L is equal to 59.5, F1 is 190, F2 is 211, H 69.5 minus 59.5 is 10, mode L plus Fm minus F1 divided by Fm minus 1 plus Fm minus F2 multiplied by H, mode 59.5 plus 304 minus 190, 304 minus 190 plus 304 minus 211 multiplied by 10. After the simplification we get mode 59.5 plus 58.5 we will get 65.3 it means 65 marks